Gather around, girls and boys, for a tale of the strange, the unexpected, and the... Have we gone a bit too far? Today, Samsung unveiled the Galaxy A9, the first phone with four cameras on its rear. According to the company, it's optimized for the Instagram generation, which is apparently a thing now. It makes a surprising amount of sense though, hear me out. The four cameras here are one, the primary camera, which packs 24 megapixels and is plenty sharp for your daily needs. The second is a five megapixel depth sensor for bokeh effects. The third has a 10 megapixel telephoto system that offers up to two times optical zoom. And finally, the fourth is an eight megapixel camera with a wide angle lens that has a 120 degree field of view. That's plenty of options for all of the shooting situations you could possibly encounter. Wanna zoom in on your favorite singer on stage at a concert? Boom! 10 megapixel telephoto lens. Wanna snap a gorgeous landscape or squeeze all 200 of your coworkers in a company group shot? Bam! The wide angle camera. And let's not forget that up front, you've also got a 24 megapixel sensor for unnecessarily sharp selfies. Yeah, that's five cameras in total. Good job, everyone. Look at what you've done. Do we really need that many cameras on a phone? Absolutely not. Google has proven it can still help you get great pictures on a single rear camera with a Pixel 2 and even the new Pixel 3. But other companies seem determined to squeeze as many sensors as possible into their phones. Dual cameras are gonna be quaint and outdated soon. The rest of the Galaxy A9 is fairly decent for a mid-range phone. It uses a Snapdragon 660 processor with 6 gigs of RAM to keep things running smoothly. The 6.3 inch screen should give you plenty of room to obsess over your photos. Plus, Samsung clearly needed to go big here to squeeze all those cameras in. Larger displays need a lot more power to last through the day, and the Galaxy A9's 3800 mAh battery should be good enough. You get all of that for 549 pounds, or about $725, when the phone hits UK shelves in November. It's not slated to come to America though, so we can either shake our heads in disappointment, or just shake our heads. We'll see you next week with more Engadget Today.